So Valentine's Day is 10 days away, but uh -oh. you can, <laughs> 10 days, you got time, you got but time. you can start getting ready ahead of all that. UW Health at the American Center is hosting date night to help out. News 3 this morning reporter Eden Checkle is live there this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Well, you can ditch the reservations and make some food at home. I have Chef Julie Andrews with us. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this date night class that you guys have. Yeah, so it's kind of inspired with Valentine's Day coming up, um, but really it's a class for anyone. So it's, it's going to be fun. We'll have wine. We'll do some kind of gourmet food mm -hmm. um, and cooking, so that'll be awesome. But anyone can come. Girlfriends, you can come with, with your date. Um, it's just all inspired by cooking at home instead of going out to eat. And what are we making? It smells really good. So what do we have here? Well, we have risotto. So this is a, a wild mushroom risotto. So there's three different types of mushrooms. Fresh thyme, which go, those go really well together. And it's one of those things that seems tricky to make, but mm -hmm. um, it's really easy. And I'll show you how to do it right in the class. So Nice. So that's done. What's the next step here? And then this is shrimp scampi. And it's one of the easiest things. So we just have um, some shrimp going in here in a little olive oil. And then uh, just about a tablespoon of butter. And that's kind of the um, idea behind scampi is um, just, just the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then some butter, olive oil, and then we need a little garlic. So why don't you right. throw a nice heap of that in there. Perfect. Listen to that sizzle. That sounds nice. awesome. And then we're just going to season it with a hair of um, salt and pepper. And then all we do is cook it until the shrimp, um, they start to curl up a little bit. You can okay. see that some of them are already starting to do that. Yep. And then we just finish it with a little bit of Parmesan. So it sounds really fancy. Uh-huh. But, but it's pretty simple. It's really simple, right? We're able to kind of kind of get this done under two minutes. So yes, exactly. Should I put that and in right now? Yes, yep. We want some of that. And then I don't know if you want to try any other risotto. What do sure. you think about that? Let's go for it. Let me go grab one. Right there. Fork. Perfect. Let's do it. Let me know what you think. It's I'm going to grab a big bite. I'm going to take a big bite. A big Charlotte bite. always makes fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. Mm. What do you think? Really good. Really good? Yeah. And it's, yeah. again, it's one of those things where it, it kind of seems difficult because it's kind of a, a longer process, mm -hmm. but it's really easy to make and it gets super creamy. And it's made with that special rice. Mm -hmm. So you can make it all at home. Mm -hmm. But first you gotta come to the class. Thank exactly. you so much, Julie. Yes. For those of you interested, this class uh, goes on next Thursday, the 11th. It's from five to seven. You can actually sign up on uwhealth.org. They have 14 spots. It's $40, again, to sign up for that class. So again, mm -hmm. something that you don't wanna miss out on. Right. You don't have to go to a restaurant. You can make your food at home. Yes, it'll be fun. And remember, there's wine, so. Yes, yeah. there is oh. wine. Again, another reason to come. <laughs> you buried the lead right there. Right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Edie, and appreciate that. Skip the reservations and prepare a Valentine's Day meal at home. UW Health at the American Center is hosting a date night uh, next week, cooking class to help you get ready for the holiday. Eden Checkle is live there this morning with a preview with Chef Julie Andrews. Good morning, Eden. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. So we already made our entree. Now we're on to dessert. I've got Chef Julie again here with me. So we are making, let me get this right, dark chocolate avocado pudding. You got it. Sounds like a crazy pairing, but tell it us, does. how do you make something like this? So everything goes in the blender. It's super easy. So if we want to start with avocados, I have one in here. Okay. And then we just need one more. So if you want to scoop that in using sure. a spoon here. Right. So it's avocado, so two ripe avocados, and you want to make sure they're ripe because we don't want to throw a hard avocado in there. Sure. Um, it just won't turn out good. All so right. Got two that in of there. those. Okay. And then we have dark chocolate. So this is just mm. chocolate chips that were melted in the microwave. It took about a minute okay. to melt them. Look just at that. Stir it. Make sure yep. you mix it up. Okay. Exactly. You want to stir it for sure. We want to get every last bit of that as much as we can. And then we have maple syrup. That's pure maple syrup. Okay. So dump that in. And then this is chocolate milk. Soy, right? Soy chocolate Yeah, milk? Okay. I like the soy. I mean, any chocolate milk works, but I just think that is really flavorful. Sure. And then just a pinch of salt, and that's just to kind of bring all the flavors out. And then that's vanilla extract, if you want to dump that in there. I know it sounds really weird. But you said you hardly taste the avocado. That's exactly right. You really just don't taste it at all. Interesting. The, the chocolate kind of comes out. So all we have to do is blend it. All right. OK, let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready. You're, get, you're getting ready. I'm excited to taste this. <laughs> now, tell us about the benefits. Well, they probably can't hear us, right? She was saying that there are some benefits to obviously having avocado in here. So yes, avocados are super healthy for you. There's there's fiber in there. There's healthy fats, um, and so that's all you do. And you just go right in. 
Yeah, you can taste it. Sure, why not? It's gonna be a little warm. You actually do wanna put it in the fridge and, and let it sit, but I just want you to be able to taste it. You hardly taste the avocado. Isn't that crazy? Very good. So that's what it looks like. Mm. And it'll get a little thicker as it sits, and then we just top it with a, um, some raspberries. So isn't that pretty? Sounds good, yes. And then what do we have here? What's next? So this is um, actually the appetizer, but I guess it could be kind of a dessert too. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. And this is um, crostinis. So it's kind of okay. like, you know, having bruschetta. We can put all different toppings on, on these. So we start with um, the, just a baguette that's been sliced and baked. And then it's goat cheese. So just the creamy goat cheese and then some walnuts. And then these, my favorite part, those are um, wine soaked cherries. Wine soaked so cherries. And again, even, okay, so you get these two things. You get mm -hmm. the risotto, but yes. you also get to drink wine as you're cooking. Yes, yes, yes. which makes you more creative. Exactly. <laughs> I think that'll bring some people in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you. Again, for those of you interested in signing up, it's next Thursday, so a week from today, uh, from 5 to 7. The class is $40. They have 15 spots open. So you're going to want to sign up real quick. Mm -hmm. Head on over to uwhealth.org. Again, a fun way to prep for Valentine's Day. Yes. Right? And you Absolutely. were saying you don't have to be in a relationship. You can no, be single. Come with your girls. No, anyone can come. Yes, come with your friends. Come with your significant other, whatever. We'll take you. It'll be fun. All so. are welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, Adam and Charlotte, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. So, Eden, I need to tell you, I know UW Health at the American Center is out on uh -huh. the east side, and obviously News 3 is located on the west side, but did you hear Charlotte's <laughs> stomach <laughs> growl? You need to tell Chef Julie I... that her stomach was growling when the bruschetta her stomach was, growling. was talking. <laughs> it, it was, <laughs> it was I, like, there, it might even register in the seismic oh, I think another, waves. I, th I think we have another tremor coming, an aftershock. I think that's a sign that we're going to have to bring some of this stuff back to you, Charlotte. We're going to have to bring some of this stuff. So get a good look because this is what's well, coming your way today. Okay, if the ground starts, you know, shaking underneath you, you know what's happening over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eden. Uh.